Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a smooth speed ramp using just one clip and sync it to the beats of the music. First make sure to stabilize your video and lock it in the center. If you are new to After Effects and do not know how to stabilize videos, check this video's description. I will leave a tutorial link there. Once you are done stabilizing, next you should mark the beat drops. To see the waveform of the song, select the music layer and press L twice on your keyboard. Now scroll through each beat and mark them by pressing asterisk on your keyboard. Once you are done, close the waveform and we can begin with the speed ramp. Right click on your clip, hover over time, then click enable time remapping. Now by moving the time forward, I will select the beginning of my clip. Once it looks good to me, I will jump to the first beat drop. You can scroll there manually or press K to jump to the marker automatically. Now let's do the same and move the time forward until it looks good. Once it feels right, we should go forward again, but this time do not stop exactly at the beat drop. Instead, stop a few frames before the beat, just like this. Now we can drag the time forward again. Let us do the same, move forward and stop around the middle between two keyframes like this and then move the time forward again. I think you get the point, so just keep doing these steps until the last beat or wherever you want the speed ramp to finish. Let's say here I want my speed ramp to go in reverse, so I will move the time backward like this to create a reverse keyframe. Finally at the very last beat drop, make sure to stop right at the beat and move the time forward again, or make it reverse too if you want. Once we are done with all the keyframes, we can remove the rest of the clip and lastly our clip should look like this. Before we continue let me explain why I didn't stop at every beat drop and instead created all the keyframes just before the beats. I did this because I want the clip to speed up right at the beat drop, not start speeding up from the beats. And that is why we add new keyframes before every beat drop, so we can create a curve in the graph editor and make the clip speed up exactly when the beat hits. Now let's select all keyframes and press F9 on the keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to the graph editor, right click here and select edit value graph. After that we can create a smooth curve. I will begin with the reverse curve. Let's make it as smooth as possible. The longer you push this handle, the faster the speed will be, so I will keep it as short as possible to make the speed ramp smooth. If you want a really harsh speed ramp, push the handles longer. But the smoother you keep them, the better the result will be. Just copy my curve and make sure to practice by making them longer and shorter to see how the video speeds up and find what works best for you. Let's quickly check the video. That looks pretty good but not perfect yet because we can make it even smoother by tweaking the curve more until it feels right. I will shorten the handles like this to get smoother transitions between speed changes. It already looks better, but now the reverse speed ramp feels a bit too slow and the flow is off here. So I will speed it up a little near the end to fix that. That feels way better to me now. Now I don't like the beginning, so I will smooth it out as well and then let's check the final result. Awesome, it really looks smooth and good to me. To make everything even smoother, we can add motion blur. If you have RSMB Pro, use it. If not, CC Force Motion Blur works fine too. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.